Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WWE News, episode 141. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Brandon Ange here. Uh, this is gonna probably be a pretty short news episode because I'm really late filming this. Like, uh, it was supposed to be up now, so it's gonna be like a few hours late going up. Uh, so a lot's been going down in wrestling recently, and I'm not gonna be able to do, talk about it all in this episode. Sunday, I'll do like a really long, ep well, not like really long, I'll do a longer episode talking about uh, what's happening in wrestling, but I'm just gonna talk about like, like the main things people are talking about right now in this video. And I still have these to unbox, but I'll have to wait until the next news video to do those. But anyway guys, enough of me running my mouth. Let's go ahead and get in this episode of WWE News and Rumors. Okay, just a quick note before I get started. I'm not going to be splitting this episode up into two different sections like the news and rumors. It's all mixed, so it's just all mixed. It's a very unorganized episode, but like uh, Sunday's episode will be a lot more organized. But anyway guys, uh, the first news story, rumor, whatever it is, uh, the first thing I'm going to be talking about in this video. Uh, so The Shield, if you guys don't know, Pretty sure most of you know The Shield is back. Uh, incredible, but this rumor is that The Shield, yeah, it's not lasting long. It's uh, it's actually not even lasting until the end of the year, so yeah, The Shield's gonna be splitting up pretty fast. And they might have like two or three pay per view matches together. I don't know why I said pay per view matches. They might have a few matches together and then uh, then they're gonna go Splitsville again, unfortunately. I wonder who's gonna turn on who this time, or they're all just gonna like turn on each other. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad the shield's back, but it's not gonna last long, unfortunately. And this whole thing's probably just to get Roman Reigns over with the f crowd even more, but yeah, shield's not lasting, unfortunately. Okay, the next thing I'm talking about is also a rumor. So the next rumor, uh, Asuka. Asuka's making her debut at TLC, her first match. They're, they're still, like, deciding what it's supposed to be. I mean, a few months ago, the rumor was it's, it's just gonna be Emma, uh, Asuka. It's gonna be, like, a, a squash match or something. Uh, well, the rumor right now, it's gonna be a squash match. But it's either going to be a one-on-one -on -one with Emma, a one-on-one -on -one with Alicia Fox, or a tag team match. Um, but no matter what they do, it's going to make Asuka look good. And Asuka is not going to lose because she has that streak right now. Uh, I'm liking Emma, like, a lot. And I would prefer if we could have Alicia Fox do it. Can Hey, Alicia, I like uh, Emma. Can you, can you do it instead? Can you get squashed instead? But I guess uh, for that, we'll just have to wait and see. That's going to be, like, my new catchphrase. I'm saying that every episode now. All right, the next uh, rumor. So uh, what do you guys think about Jinder Mahal? Do you like him as the WWE champion? That's my question. That's going to be my question of the day or whatever. So, yeah, down below. Well, you can comment about any of the new stories I'm talking about, and I'll try to reply to some of you guys. But what do you guys think of Jinder Mahal as the WWE champion? I'm personally getting a little sick of it, but that's just me. That's just my opinion. Uh, but the rumor is the next person that's going to be feuding with uh, Jinder Mahal for his WWE Championship is going to be my favorite wrestler currently in the WWE, AJ Styles. So AJ Styles versus Jinder Mahal. This is probably happening like Survivor Series or something. Uh, but yeah, that should be awesome. Hopefully AJ actually wins the title, which now that I'm thinking about that, that's probably not going to happen because Jinder has to have that title when they tour India just so they have like amazing ticket sales in India or whatever. Uh, but maybe, maybe, maybe they won't do this match until the Rumble and AJ's gonna actually win the title. Because I really miss AJ Styles as the WWE Champion. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, the rumor is AJ Styles, Jinder Mahal, either happening in Survivor Series or maybe even the Royal Rumble. Okay, the next news story. Jimmy Jacobs has been fired by the WWE. For what, we ask? What, why would you fire Jimmy Jacobs? I mean, he's obviously a creative genius because he came up with the list. He's the guy that Chris Jericho credits for coming up with the list. So Jimmy Jacobs used to be a wrestler, but recently he's been working for the WWE as a producer slash, uh, slash writer. Uh, he actually came up with the, the list of Jericho of all things, so that's, that's awesome. But why would WWE fire such a great mind like Jimmy Jacobs? He took a photo with the Bullet Club. Yep, that's, that's it. Uh, so Bullet Club, they did their invading Raw or whatever in Raw in Ontario. I actually went to that Raw in Ontario, I had no idea they were doing this. I saw the like the young bucks were teasing hey we're gonna be at this mall if you guys want to say what's up i'm like uh i'll just go to santa monica i met them like two days before that uh two days before that then i go on twitter and i see they're standing in front of the arena with like a million fans and they're doing it like dx and everything i'm like dang it i wish i would have went but basically jimmy jacobs saw them out there he went out there and like bullet club i know you guys 
Uh, you're some of my friends from the independence when I used to be uh, wrestle on the indies and stuff like that. I know you guys, you're my friends. I'm gonna go out and take a selfie. I mean, he, I don't think he was technically working for WWE at the time. Like, he's not in there writing and then he sees them and like, oh yeah. But nonetheless, uh, he goes out there, takes a selfie, and apparently that was like the the breaking point. I saw rumors actually earlier today that they had issues before that, but none of those are confirmed, so I don't know. Uh, but yeah, Jimmy Jacobs no longer in the WWE. I have no idea what he's gonna do now. Uh, he could go right for like Ring of Honor or something now. Go be with the Bullet Club, right for the Bullet Club now. I don't know. Or he maybe even go back to wrestling or something like that. But yeah, Jimmy Jacobs fired, unfortunately. He was the creator of the list. Why would you fire such a great mind? Okay, we're getting ready to be in the heavy crap right now. So uh, l let's just start it off with something light. So Summer Rae, uh, Summer Rae is apparently leaving the WWE. She hasn't been on TV in like forever and she's doing more stuff outside the WWE. So there's rumors that she's just leaving. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I do believe she deserved a little better and stuff like that, but Summer Rae no longer gonna be in the WWE. But now we're gonna get into the heavy stuff. One word, one word, Neville, Neville. Uh, if you don't know, I'm assuming most of you know, Neville, uh, the rumor is he, he's leaving WWE. So there's a lot of conflicting stuff coming out right now and has been coming out for the past few days. No one really knows 100% what the hell is going on right now. So basically in the past few days, we've had all these headlines come out Neville quitting WWE, Neville walked out like CM Punk, Neville argument Vince McMahon, all this random crap which half of it's probably not even true. So basically the rumor is Neville, uh, he was supposed to be in the main event of Raw last week. It was supposed to be Neville versus Enzo Amore for the title, Enzo was supposed to retain the title. I guess Neville didn't like that, thought he deserved better, thought he deserved the title back. So he basically walked out of Raw. That's the rumor. And now today there's stuff coming out that Neville didn't even show up to Raw. Maybe heard plans of it before they like called him and talked to him about it. And he just didn't show up to Raw or whatever. We don't really know right now. Uh, earlier there were like rumors that Neville was, uh, we're, we're denying these these rumors that, that he's leaving the WWE. But apparently he, he's not denying, he has not said a word to anyone about this. And WWE's denying it themselves. But close friends to Neville are saying, yeah, he's leaving WWE sick of the way he's been treated there. So, no one really knows what the hell is going on with Neville. I will know in a few days if he's actually quitting or not. But he wasn't on Raw at all this past week. I mean, if the original plan was to have Kalisto win the title, Neville would at least be like a, a lumberjack or whatever. But no, that was not the case. And the rumor is he was actually supposed to have been in the match, but he didn't like the way it was. He either walked out or didn't even show up to Raw at all. Uh, so yeah, we'll know in a few days if he's if he's doing the CM Punk thing and walking out, which I don't blame Neville at all if he's actually doing that. I mean, I would hate to be stuck in that freaking cruiserweight division. Like, you're this great independent talent on the indies and whatever, you're just this big star on the independents. Then you come to WWE and you get stuck in this freaking cruiserweight division. You can't win the WWE Championship, which is a lot of these wrestlers dream. You can't win the United States Championship, Intercontinental, you can't win a tag title. You're stuck in that freaking cruiserweight division. I mean, maybe you can get out of it or whatever, but a lot of these independent talents they've, they've signed, hopefully they know before they actually sign that they're gonna be stuck in this cruiserweight division. I mean, even Austin Aries himself on Twitter, know when to walk away, self-value and all this other, other stuff. So, very sticky situation right now for Neville. But honestly, who knows right now, I personally believe Neville is, is walking away from the WWE. Uh, but we'll know in a few days. Let me know what you guys think of Neville actually leaving the WWE in the comment section down below. And that's going to be it for this little news episode. Uh, like I said, like a million times in this video Sunday, I'm going to have the longer one. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's going to be it for this video. And uh, thanks for watching. This is the end card. It's definitely my second channel. Over here are some previous videos you guys may have not seen that you'll probably enjoy. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to like this video. And if you're brand new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. It's absolutely free. I will see you guys in the next video.